history of the establishment of the African, Caribbean and Pacific nations. It has always been based on solidarity, which came about uh, immediately post the Second World War, when all the major company, uh, countries of the world were forming um, blocks, uh, which subsequently led to what is called Cold, Cold War. All the other countries of the world realized that they were out in the cold, as it were, and as a consequence, uh, later got together and established what is now called the African Caribbean Pacific Group of States. So the relationship is very important as far as we're concerned. Uh, most, if not all, of these countries stood by South Africa at a time when, like other countries in the ACP, we were alone. And so uh, that relationship still stands. It's a debate that is ongoing at the moment. There are various schools of thought. We ourselves as a country, South Africa, have our own independent uh, treaty with the uh, European Union. But similarly, we are also part of SEDEX EPA um, and uh, we played a key role in that EPA's uh, uh, or in that agreement. Um, and likewise, in other parts of Africa, there are regional blocs that have reached uh, agreements with the European Union. As to how the continent will establish an agreement with the European Union, time will tell. Relationships you have to establish all over, um, it's key. It is something that I've learned in a very short time here. And relationships, uh, of course, a very important part of that is trade and development. But it goes beyond that. Um, quite often, um, a personal relationship between two heads of state can form the basis of a country's relationship with one another. Um, so um, the ACP will remain an important player as far as South Africa is concerned. Um, we've made that point over and over again. We are not hesitant to repeat it. Um, mindful, of course, uh, of our relationship with the European Union and what that entails. Our trade relations with the European Union uh, are crucial, uh, vital, very important. I made this point in the debate on the President's budget debate in Parliament. Uh, regrettably, um, a lot of people missed it, which is fine, I'm just a humble Deputy Minister. Um, because the point was made to me that in our debates in Parliament, we didn't touch on this point. Uh, which is somewhat unfortunate. Our trade relations with the European Union are the best. The EU trade with South Africa is the largest. Uh, the figures are astronomical. So um, that's not about to change now or in the near future, if at all. The ACP's role in the climate change negotiations will be crucial. And so it'll be very important for the ACP to focus on that aspect. Given the member states that belong to the ACP, we ourselves in the last round of the uh, COP negotiations, uh, we were at the forefront of those negotiations and I'm pretty sure that that situation will prevail come the second round that are due to begin very soon. Um, we would like to see an actual improvement in the uh, uh, final agreement or the second round agreement when it comes to uh, countries from the Pacific and Caribbean region.